Hey guys, welcome back. King Ethan, Sub Beast, and we're back on this series, Game vs. Game. Today we're going on Pokemon vs. Digimon. Pokemon vs. Digimon. And, okay, let's get this thing started. Okay, so, Pokemon and Digimon are two famous franchises that can be seen across very various mediums such as TV shows, video games, comic books, and even toys. They both started in the 90s with Pokemon debuting its first game on the Nintendo Game Boy in 1996 and Digimon Monster World version S Digimon Tamers, the first Digimon game re releasing in 1998 for the Sega Sound. Each franchise saw its television series debut in the same period. Both series boil down to people, usually children, <laughs> no, not really anymore, <laughs> becoming friendly with powerful creatures. The titular monsters can evolve, speak to the sun degree, depending on the series, and are way stronger than humans. It's a good thing that the majority of these beasts are friendly once you get past the similarity. Similarities though, differences arise that really set Pokemon and Digimon apart. It does. <laughs> Both franchises have shows that played a big part in why the franchises have become so popular. While the general idea of kids befriending creatures was similar, there are some noticeable differences in the shows. Digimon kicks off with a bunch of kids at summer camp who gets whisked away to the digital, digital world. What follows is a fight to save not only the, this new world, but the kids' own world, world as well. Pokemon is a story about a young boy named Ash traveling the world with his trusty Pikachu to be the best Pokemon trainer there ever was. Of course, there are new legions in this quest, new Pokemon, and new characters. But this story is lineal, lineal in that it always follows Ash on his quest. Pokemon tends to follow, a, follow a, a similar formula throughout the years. Ash is trying to become the very best, and Digimon will always be about the same, the, the same kids trying to save the world. Yet, Digimon does tend to shake it up every once in a while. Even if the main idea remains the same, the setting and characters will change. They tend to start with, with Scratch for their own shows, only going back to all the material recently. Which is something that works for Digimon. Meanwhile, Ash is still 10, year, 10 years old, somehow. When his be best friend these powerful creatures. There's nothing wrong with that works, and that's why Pokemon is still going to this day. It just works. Which show you want you want to watch would depend on which one you like more. Digimon tends to offer more variety through its narrative, which means fans can pick and choose which season they wish to watch. Meanwhile, Pokemon sticks to the tried and true with with no little differences in its plots. So, which one would you want to watch? And, which one would you rather, um, <laughs> want to buy or play? Of course, the Sega Saturn, um, it sucked <laughs> for the first game, which wasn't really that good. And the Game Boy was, well, it was good. No offense to Sega, but yeah. Anyway. Oh, it's a pickle. <laughs> anyway. My opinion. I have to say. Pokemon. Digimon do look cool, but only when they evolve at their last stage. I mean. One reason why they're actually good. I mean, they're cute, too. But wait. Brought my Pokemon. If they fought. Well. 
time travel Pokemon will win. So, yeah. It's coming fast. So, anyway. Yeah, in my opinion, I think Pokemon's better because Digimon literally copied off Pokemon in pretty much every single way. There were some small differences, but just put aside that they for sure copied off Pokemon. And that's why Digimon isn't really showing until this day. It's pretty much nothing now. I mean, it stopped making shows. There's no games. I do hope it does a comeback to it. I don't really like Digimon. I never really played it. I don't really know it. I kind of like Pokemon. Oh, that flows. If you can tell. <coughs> I only like it a little bit though. I just like it. Keep shaking down. <coughs> but anyway, thank you guys for watching. It's only my opinion. Don't, and don't unsubscribe if you don't like my opinion. Also, we reached 160 subscribers. Just now, I'll show you. King eats and subbies, 160. Thank you all so much. I am so grateful. I mean, I'm a 10 year old who has 160 people, people who like my videos. Now remember, if you do subscribe, you get to join the King Squad. So yeah, we might, okay. Here's what I'm going to do. When, or Melo, King Melo, so cool, subscribe to him. When he gets 100 subscribers, we're going to make our, both our channel. Like combine, we're going to have the King Squad. That's going to be a YouTube channel name. Like, we'll still have this channel, we'll still We'll still do a lot of videos on this one more than the King Squad new YouTube channel. But yeah, if you want to have that, subscribe to King Metal So Cool. It's gonna be an amazing channel, new channel. It's gonna be awesome. So yeah, he has a hundred. He has a twenty, I think. Let me look it up. Look it up. Look it up. Let me look it up. I failed. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, he's about 20 subscribers, so go subscribe to him. Please, I would really appreciate it. I really would. Yeah, he gained like 14 subscribers in like one day. That was awesome. Again, congrats to him. Also, this is for my teacher, Maceo's, um, for my project. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I don't care if you stopped watching it. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more. King Metal so cool. Subscribe to him. Please. I would really appreciate it. It's just like subscribing to me. And just pretty much the same thing as I do. So if you like my videos, go to his channel. And subscribe. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.